Now that we have a project packaged, as well as the pixel streaming infrastructure, we can do our first quick local pixel stream test. As the nature of this video series is to educate you on how to use these tools, I'll provide information as needed for each function, but for a more in-depth look on how each of these scripts work, I'll link relevant documentation in the description below. First things first, let's get our signaling server running. If we navigate to our web servers, pixel streaming project, samples, pixel streaming, web servers, this is our pixel streaming infrastructure, and we'll move on ahead into the signaling web server. Signaling web server, platform scripts, command, because we're running on Windows, and you can see here all of the scripts necessary to run the signaling server. Now, the first time you run these scripts, they will call the setup.bat script, which automatically installs any dependencies that the signaling server requires, namely Node.js. Let's run runlocal.bat now, and you can see this in process. So, setup has been called, installing Node.js. We wait for this to finish, and there we go. So now we have an active signaling server ready to go. With this running, let's go back to our project's exe file. So, in order to get our application to connect to the signaling server, we need to use a few launch args. Now, doing local testing, there's a much easier way to do this, which allows you to use it consistently and only setting it up once. If you hold Alt and left click and drag, you can create a shortcut for your exe. Right click the shortcut, go properties. And you can see here, we've got our target. On the end of the target, we can apply our pixel streaming launch arguments. So those are pixel streaming URL, which specifies the local IP address and the port. Allow pixel streaming commands, which allows a few certain commands in the front end to work. And render off screen. So render off screen is not mandatory. However, pixel streaming is generally run in environments where you wouldn't need to render on screen, such as on cloud instances or containers. Um, I personally use render off screen every time as it's, it's just more accurate to what you would use pixel streaming for in a testing environment. So we can apply that and we're good. Now all we need to do is run the shortcut. And if we look down here at the signaling server, we can see streamer connected. That means our application has successfully connected to the signaling server and we are good to go. So if we open a browser of our choice, let's go with Chrome and enter in the local IP address. Now that would be sufficient. However, you can also, if you prefer, enter local host. And you can see here, success. So if we click to start, we can now control our active pixel stream application through our browser. This is just a great way to confirm that your basic streaming functionality is working in your pixel streaming application. Mission accomplished. Let's move back into the editor of our project, as there are a few pixel streamer components in editor I'd like to show you. 